Hi everyone, let's take a look how we can actually work with Dreamweaver to create a layout of a web page. Now in the previous videos we talked about div tags and we showed you how to incorporate with HTML and this one the video I want to concentrate more on Dreamweaver. So what I have open right now in Photoshop is just a wireframe outlook of a web page and this web page is set up into uh, five different sections that I want to go across a certain width, a certain height for each of these sections. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to use a div tag to indicate that this section is going to be a certain width, a certain height, and then you're going to add another div tag that will do the same thing, indicate the width and height as well. Now the key here is to utilize Dreamweaver to create that and Dreamer actually makes your life a lot easier. Sorry about that. Dreamer keeps a, makes it a lot easier and that's why I want to show you how to do it in Dreamweaver to create a site similar to this. Maybe not exactly. So we're going to go in and we're not going to put any content in. We just want to set up the frame because as we move on we'll get that shell set up first and then we'll add content later. Because this section up here at the top where it says container 1, that information there will be replaced with actual text or an image for your header, for your banner. So let's go here to Dreamweaver. Now what I have in Dreamweaver, I have a open a new page and I'm in the design view. Right up here at the top says show design view. So again, nothing major. Uh, we're starting off with a simple page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to insert I'm going to come down to Layout Objects. I'm going to click on Div Tag. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to have to name the Div Tags as you go with separate sections. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to include what we call as a wrapper. A wrapper encompasses the whole, our whole page. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one section that has all the other elements in this one section. And we call it a wrapper. Now, here's the benefit of working with Dreamweaver. Each ID div tag that you place in and that you name with an ID attribute, you have to have a cascading style applied to it. We love working with external style sheets. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our life easier by going in and inserting that automatically. So how do we do that? Right here in this dialog box we have a button that says New CSS Rule. So I'm going to click on that and what it's going to do is it's going to put in the actual name where it starts, it starts with a pound sign followed by the name. Whenever you use an ID for the div tag in your style sheet you have to name it with a pound sign. It always precedes the name. It tells the browser that it's an ID attribute. Now what I'm going to do here is down at the bottom, I'm not going to have it for just this document. I want to create a new style sheet file, which is an external style sheet. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask me to name the style. So you can name it what you need. Keep in mind yourself, no spaces. I name it my style and I'm going to click on save. It's going to add the extension of .css. This all automatically just says, hey, it's going to make this a document relative path. You need to save the document first. We're doing that. And then what comes up next is the best part. This allows me to define my section to look a certain way. So what I want to do here, I could change the font size for that section. I can change the coloring. But what I want to concentrate on right now is I want to concentrate on the box section so I can incorporate the width and height. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click where it says width. I'm going to type in 960. I'm going to, tape, I'm going to do a height of 125 and it's going to be in pixels. 
Notice the different features here. We can change the padding, the margin of the sections. And then so we can see it, I'm also going to apply a border to it. Now, what's on here is that it's going to apply a border to the left, the top, the right side, and the bottom side. And you'll notice it says same for all up here at the top. So it's going to apply the same features to each of the sides. So I'm going to choose a solid line, a thin, thin width, and I'm going to cha change this to a black color. You can click on here and choose another color if you wanted to, but basically it's going in and allowing you to change. And then notice how it basically populates the information down below. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK again, and I have my wrapper. Now, if you make a mistake and you don't have enough, you say, well, wait, that's not the right width. It's not the right height. Well, over here on the right-hand side, there's a CSS Styles panel. You can find it under Window in your menu system. And down here at the bottom, there's a little options where you can change the properties. And in this case, I'm going to change the properties of the height to be 1,000. When I press my Enter key, you can see that it automatically increases the height of the box. Now, you remember what I said when we, we used that box, it applied to style? Well, it did create the style sheet. Up here at the top in Dreamweaver, we have two buttons open now. It says mystyle.css. When I click on it, it automatically has the style listed automatically. And here's what's the nice thing about it, is if you wanted to go into your style sheet and make the change instead of over here on the panel, you can do so. You can come right here in the height and change it. You can change the width. It put all the features in for you automatically. Now, let's add more things. So now we got we have our wrapper that's going to encompass the whole website. So now we got to divide up our sections. So I got to go back up to insert. I'm going to do layout objects, div tag. I'm going to name this header. Make sure, again, when you're naming things, case sensitivity is key and no spaces. I'm going to click on New CSS Rule. It's going to apply it to my style already, which is great. I'm going to click OK. It opens up this box to apply the style. So I'm going to go over to the box section. I want the width to be 960 because that's the height or width of the uh, wrapper. Height, I'm going to say, let's go with a height of 75. And again, I'm going to go to the border just because I want to see it. And I'm going to click OK. So it adds here at the top. Now here, again, if I click on this section, if I move my mouse over uh, the border of the, of the frame, it becomes a little bit red and I can click on it that will allow me to select that section and so that allows me to come over here to the styles procs and make my change if I needed to. Now I'm going to click below the frame that I have here the little boxed area and now I'm going to add another section so I'm going to go up to insert oops excuse me I got view on <laughs> insert layout objects div tag let's name it nav I'm going to click on New CSS Rule. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to choose Box with 960. Height, let's go 50. I'll add the border again. And I'm going to click OK and click OK one more time so it's adding it in. So I'm going to click again below that if I wanted to. I'm going to add one more, let's add two more things here. Layout objects, div tag. I'm going to name this column one. Again, no spaces. If you're going to use a space and you want to use it, use an underscore instead. I'm going to take that out. 
I'm going to click uh, OK here. It's applying to the style sheet again. This time what I'm going to do is on the box. I don't want to go all the way across. So I'm going to type in 400. I'm going to change the height here depending on what you're working with. You, if you want to completely go at toward the end of the wrapper you have to measure that out. Um, I'm going to go and leave it uh, 320. But what I also want to do is I'm going to turn on this float option. And that, the reason why I want to do that is because you remember how I have column 1 and column 2 side by side from each other. So let me go back here to Photoshop real quick. See how you have container 3 and this container 4? Well to do that, one of the easiest ways to do it is to actually use the float option. And what the float option does is it says, okay, take this section and move it to the left or move it to the right. When you move it to the left, you move it to the right, it has anything else beyond that to wrap around that section. It's kind of like text wrap, if you think about it that way. To turn on, when you turn on float, you're turning on text wrap. So I'm going to turn it on the left option because I want to keep it on the left side. I'm going to click, uh, oh, let me put the border in as well before I forget. Oops, I don't want dashed. I want solid. Then black. Okay. Then let's insert another object. This time I'm going to name it column 2, new CSS rule. Again, it's going to put the right name in. I got to go to the box. Now I don't do anything with float here because column 1 already has the float option already added. So all you have to do is put the width and height into the section. So in this case, what I'm going to do is, uh, if you remember with the height, uh, that we had before. And if you forget, you can always go back and measure it. I always like to have it written down. Um, so, you know, you can't go in right now until you OK it and cancel out. But we can correct it afterwards. So let's, let's go and put the width in at 960 because that's the width of the container. And the height, I believe, was at 420. If not, I'll go back and make changes to it. And then let's go and put the border in. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK one more time. And of course, I got the height wrong. And you can see, notice how the column 2 goes over here on the right hand side, but the height is a little bit different. So the height of uh, container 1, or column 1, was 320, not 420. So again, I'm clicking on the border. I can come in here and make the change by highlighting the height over here on the style panel. Or, don't forget, I can also open up the style sheet and just simply make the change here. When I make the change, it automatically measures it out and you have this. Now what's happening here is you're just setting up your wireframe of your website. So you're not going in and putting any content in yet. So now, once you get the wireframe set up, then you could come up here and highlight the text here and says, my heading goes here. My navigation information will go here. So you'll have home page. About all that great information. And it's all separ separated. So you don't have to do it now because you want to set up the, the shell first. Once you set, the, you know, set this up, then all you have to do is you just go up and save as. This is the page. Give it a name. Index HTML. I'm going to save it. Now also, when you upload this, you also have to upload your style sheet with the web page. If you don't upload the style sheet, it doesn't know what formats to apply. So here I'm just going to go over here to Styles, and I'm just going to do a File Save As. And again, I'm going to put the extension in of .css, not HTML. So you got to save it. 
Uh, you got to save the style sheet separately. Just because you save the HTML page does not indicate that you saved the style sheet. So I'm going to overwrite the file. That's fine. Now it's been saved completely. And now what you do is you upload the index.html file and the CSS file into your server. So hopefully this gives you a better idea on how it's utilized. Again, take a look at the previous videos on working with div tags in HTML. That will give you a better understanding and this kind of concentrates on working with Dreamweaver.